the grace of God. God's grace will let your hands lay on someone and heal them and you'll be sick while you are in party. Can I get a witness, somebody? And so this thing caused, caused me to sort of kind of take a look at the devil and find out what kind of powers do we have? You know, I wrote a book entitled Witchcraft in the Pews. Uh, who's sitting next to you? you know, there's a whole bunch of witches in here today. You, know. you got them on your left and your right and front and back over me. Yeah. And when you hear the word witchcraft, immediately people think about voodoo. You know, that uh, what you did to me, already done to you. I ain't talking about that. <laughs> That's voodoo, Missy. We talk about witchcraft, we talk about intimidation, manipulation, and domination. We talk about them tongue talking witches. Akatabasha, them tongue talking witches that manipulate, intimidate, and dominate. Begin to write about those things. And the Lord led me to this passage of scripture. He says, in order for you to understand, you have to sort of have somewhat of of a psychological profile of Lucifer, who he was, where he comes from, and why is he behaving the way he behaves. And so Lucifer, Genesis chapter number one says, in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. Stop. Number two, and the earth was without form and void and darkness was upon the face of the deep. The spirit of the Lord moved upon the face of the Lord. Even though the earth was under judgment in a chaotic state, the spirit of the Lord was still covering what was under judgment. And even when you miss it, God's anointing is still on your life. Don't let nobody tell you it's not. And, and, you, and the hand claps are small because people think that God is an Indian giver. So he runs around watching what you do and he increases if you're good and takes if you're bad. But let's tell the truth. How many of you know that God has blessed you real good even when you were real bad? For some of us, the only way we could get blessed is by bad because we ain't never been good. And so... The scripture 